Hey everyone, this is Silas, and we're time to present the next project by Game Freak. It's no longer a spoiler, I already announced what the game was yesterday. It's time to play Pokemon Sapphire version. Oh boy. Let's get started, shall we? As usual, let's mess with all the options. Uh, let's cycle through. Do like that retro one, but you know what? This one looks nice. New okay. game. Hey, you're not Professor Oak. Uh, yep, it's time to meet the new professor. This is Professor Birch. Who replaces Oak? And, of course, yeah. It's the same talk, just a different face. So, I am Dita Boy, and let's cover my name. Yeah, that looks about right. Yes, it's Silas. Indeed, I am moving to your hometown. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later. So I suppose, according to the Pokemon canon that I'm kinda following, this happens at the same time as uh, Blue version. However, in my case, let's just say, blue version happened first, three years later, gold version happened, so we'll just put it, this happens a year after I beat red, okay? Okay. Story timed over. Hi, Mom. You kind of shoved me in a van for the entire trip to the new region, which is a freaking island. Yeah, we're so lazy. Wait, did you just say Dad bought me... I have a room. Now, I've always had a room. But, wait a second. I must be seeing something. I thought she said something about me having a dad. That's not possible. I'll take the one potion, which must be some sort of a callback to the original Pokemon. Alright, let's go ahead and set the clock. This is going to take a while. Alright, time to start slowing down. Okay. That'd be 950. That's close enough. I'm pretty sure it's going to be impossible to hit 951 on the dot. My room looks the same as always, you just got rid of a table and you moved the bed around a little bit. Oh, and you gave me a notebook and a GameCube. And a clock. Wonderful. Moving on! Come quickly. Well, what's going on in the TV? Wait. I have a dad? I... When was this happening? I'm pretty sure he just ditched us for whoever knows how long. Okay, let's go introduce ourselves to the new neighbors, who we don't need to care about all that much. I don't mind me, I'm barging into your house. Oh man, I get to have a new friend. It's amazing. It's the rival character. Meet the first rival, May. She's kinda stupid. She's just way too happy to do stuff. I mean, sure, maybe I'm not as happy. Maybe I'm not as enter energetic. But hey, it's my thing. Alright, kid, what's going on? Someone has to go help. Well, that someone could be me. Hmm, alright. Time to get the free Pokemon. So, what have we got? Alright, I guess I can touch up on the collab again. So, Vukis is using Torchic. Kind of fitting considering he's playing Ruby, ahem, whatever. Uh, my friend Codeman is using Mudkip. I 
guess to be different from them, I'll be using Draco. Let's get started. Oh man, it's Poochiana. I'm so terrified. It's... it's... something. It's not the Raditon of the game. Oh no, we'll be covering him later. Yeah, you were studying tall grass. Some things in tall grass. Hmm. Well, I have plenty of Pokemon. Mom just won't let me have them. I mean, I have a Carl and a Kamina. They're both pretty awesome. I guess we'll take Trico. All right. So, what should we call Trico? Well, hmm. I can think of something. Why don't we all say hello to the night first party member, Kaiser Wald. Or however you're supposed to say that. I don't want to go see May. No, I don't want to go see May. I really don't want to go see that. No. 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 Fine. Really? I've already done Kanto and Johto. I'm pretty sure I know how things work around these parts. Oy. By the way, I might as well say it now, I really think this white hair thing is stupid and... Uh, it's not his hair. From what I want to believe, that is not his hair, it's part of the hat he wears. His real hair color is brown. So, let's get started heading to find May. Just the game won't let us do anything else. Don't care, Wormpole. And... don't care about the first town. Alright, May. I, I was told to come see you because the game won't let me do otherwise. Hey. Meet the Radita of the game. Meet what's going to drive me insane for the next 40 hours as I try to avoid catching it. Hi, May. Yep. Let's have a quick battle. I know what being a trainer is like. I fought Lance. He cheats. If you're an enemy trainer, you can cheat all you want and the game doesn't care. So May totally steals a Torchic after I steal a Trico. And I guess we'll just pound it to death. I mean, what other option do we really have? Besides, they're pretty content on just scratching me. Oh hey, critical hit. Woohoo, we hit level 6. Hmm, okay. I guess I can go with that. And we learned the first grass move. Absorb. Yay. Yes, I'm pretty good. I beat the Elite Four, like, a ton of times. May, I really don't like you. Have I said that before? Oh, boy. Might as well heal at the Poké Center while I'm here. Wonderful! We're fully healed, and we can move on. Joy. Alright. Let's just save time. Let's hurry home! Okay, it's not like we have anything else to do. Joy. Alright, uh, Birch, I beat your daughter on my first try. Yeah. Oh boy, I get the free Pokedex. It's not like you get this in every game ever. Hey, catches rare Pokemon? Well, she doesn't catch super rares. 
Okay, May, you gave me some pokeballs. I guess I can like you a little bit, but not by much. Yeah, feel free to catch all the cute Pokemon you want. Alright, we've got one last thing to do before we can officially get started with the Nuzlocke run. Yes, I got a Pokemon from Professor Birch. And I'm totally my dad's son because I am such a great trainer I steal Pokemon from strange professors. So the major new thing, because of for whatever reason they get they decided, you can now run by holding the B button. It took them a few games to realize this would be a good idea to have. Woohoo, we can run. Alright, so let's give her the rules of Nuzlocke that I will be following. First things first, each route has one Pokemon able to be caught. Now granted, like, this route for sure has three, I can only catch the first one I run into now. If I faint it, I can't catch it. So, this basically limits how many Pokemon you can have in the game because you're not going to be able to catch an infinite amount. The second rule is the faint equals death because we decided Pokemon wasn't hardcore enough so you know what let's introduce real life. You can't come back from the grave. So fainting is death. What I'm going to do with everything that faints I'm just going to stick it in the PC box and label that a graveyard. So, if it faints, I'm just gonna shove it there and we can't do anything with it anymore. Let's hope that stays empty. The next rule is the no legendary rule. I am invoking that just for the sake of, you know, I'm not sure about you, but you guys might not like the fact that I've used, uh, Zapdos and ho -Oh in my previous two runs, so we're going to prevent me from using Kyogre. Hooray. So, with those rules covered, I'm going to call it here. So, tune in the next time in which we come back to Sapphire, in which we really get started. We'll catch a couple Pokemon, and probably get to Petalburg after doing a bit of grinding. So, I'll see you next time.